I'm Claudia, I'm 18 and I'm from Scottish Borders. My name's Douglas Muller, I'm from Barking and I'm 18. I'm Ramina, I'm 16 years old and I'm from Tar Hamlets. My name's Tammy, I'm 17 years old and I'm from Glasgow. My name's Robbie Kincaid, I'm 22 years old, I'm from Port Glasgow. Before I worked with Tomorrow's People, yeah, I was in a pretty bad state to be honest. I never left the house, I was stuck in a bad relationship and I was with depression, anxiety, paranoia. Before Tomorrow's People, I was with a social services at that time. They moved me into a hostel and since then my life's been up and down, just getting into trouble. A few years back I was diagnosed with Asperger's Syndrome. The way things were going I stopped going to school. I don't stay with my mum anymore. I went to different companies and other training providers to try and help us but they weren't very useful. My life before Tomorrow's People was horrific. I started drinking, I started drugs, I started committing crime, I ended up in a hospital a lot, had a lot of mental breakdowns and I couldn't look after myself. I used to move around care homes and foster homes and I ended up homeless at some points as well. They gave you one-on-one -on -one support, uh, both with personal life, finding a job, everything. They got me a job, a full-time college course. I'm hoping next summer to Moved to Cambridge to further my studies. They basically just helped me out so much, my CV, got me a job at Wembley, basically just making me a better person. When I went to Tomorrow's People, they went into detail with what I wanted to do and they helped me go and get my C certificates and I went up and completed my theatre training in Auburn. Tomorrow's People, they provide the consistency in what other people didn't. No one was consistent. My parents went, social services aren't. The only person I could rely on was coach who pushed me because he knows I'm worth something. And I had low self-esteem before, but now I'm so confident. They listened to me, and when I had problems, I knew I could go and speak to them. I'm currently waiting to hear back from a hairdressing course called Qualitas. That's my main hope to get an ease with my hair and beauty.